Hey guys, welcome to another Critique the Community. Today we're going to be critiquing images that have to do with water. Um, and if you'd like to be a part of the next critique, it starts right now. We're going to do automotive photography. I think we did this before, maybe a year or two ago. And so, a while, though. yeah, we're coming back around. Um, so follow the link in the description below and you can start uploading your cars and lawn mowers and motorcycles for the next critique. Anything with an engine, is that what we're saying? That runs on the ground? Yeah, as long as it's a good photo, I'm not gonna give you crap, but if it's a bad photo, right. well, yeah, that's I mean, fair. if it's an incredible riding lawnmower picture, <laughs> I'll let you know. Perfect. All right, uh, is this the highest rated image for this, this one? This is the highest rated image, which means you win a tutorial, congratulations. Uh, I think I've actually seen this image in another critique. I don't know if it won anything, but it's definitely submitted someone else, and this is, looks pretty incredible to me. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and rate it. I'm in between numbers on this one. But, yes, three, two, one. I gave it three. I was thinking like three and a half on okay. this one for me. I almost wanted to go four and a half on this one. Really? Um, I love this shot. I love the balance of colors of orange and blue, and the the level of long exposure is just perfect. I feel like it... The water is flowing back through this image super well. Um, there's not a ton of leading lines, but some, and just very interesting subjects in the frame. So uh, I do have one little annoyance. Right next to this rock, there's like, I don't know if that's some sort of post-processing dodge burn thing, or if the water was splashing up mm -hmm. there and is being highlighted, but like, that kind of draws my eye and bugs me. Obviously, this was the highest rated image, so I'm, I'm sure I'm in the minority here. I like this image. I mean, I, I, I think it deserves three and a half stars, um, if not more. But I guess my, the reason why I didn't want to give it four or five stars is just because I've seen so many... Landscape shots? Landscape shots that are kind of like this, and you know, it's got this heavy post-processing look to it. And for me personally, I'm just kind of getting tired of it. It's just, it's just this like, whimsical, over-the-top yeah. pictures, and I'm starting to like, and it's probably just because I've hung out with Elias so much, and I, you know, I see all these photographers standing in the same location, doing the same post-processing te techniques and everything, and I'm not saying, like, I don't know where this spot is. I, I don't know if I've seen this spot before or not, but it just kind of has that same feeling to me. Yeah. So I have a negative bias towards, like, super post-processed landscape Could photos now. Could you even now. see a five-star landscape at this point? You know what? I definitely could, but I think so much of it has to do with an awesome print, you know? Okay. Because I've seen some Peter Lick photos online that just look ridiculous to me, just yeah. oversaturated and ridiculous blooming and, you know, uh, so much shadow highlight stuff. And then you see them printed and it starts working all of a sudden. It's like those details that show up when the image is small, yeah. it kind of falls away when it's big and it's got nice lighting and everything. So um, maybe I would love this image a lot I, more. I could see this printed and looking awesome. Yeah, for sure. I, I, I certainly could as well. It's just right now with all the colors and everything, it just kind of feels over the top. And that's cool. Like, don't let me stop you from doing that. It's just me personally, I've seen so much of it. Um, but congratulations, you have won a free tutorial, and uh, David will be yep. messaging you, uh, and you can let him know any tutorial in the F-Stopper store. The community gives us 3.75 stars. Truly right in between. Well, if you gave it a 3.5 and I a 4. No, that's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, we have another tutorial winner, though. Yeah, so pick a number, 2 through 20. Let's do 14. All right, when we get to number 14, you will be the next winner. Mm -hmm. All right. Three, two, one. Three. I'm in between a three and a four on this one, too. I, I mean, there, in a way, I might like this better than the last shot. I feel like it's a more unique shot for yeah. sure. Um, if anything, I might say, and I can't believe I'm saying this, there might be too many fish. Like I thought that too. That's why I stuck with a three and didn't want to go high. Yeah, it kind of looks a little messy rather than really clean, but I mean, I don't know how they got the light on these fish to look so good, and yet 
it's black behind them. You know yeah, what I mean? I know. It seems like if you, like I would imagine this is in some fountain or something somewhere. So I would imagine if you lit it, you would light up the bottom as well because I mean this water is pretty can clear. See the light on the left hand side. Yeah. So some sort of that looks like a studio setup for sure, but I don't know oh, why. Oh, you think they brought these fish in? Well, I don't know if it's a studio, but like some sort of contained lighting environment. It's a very cool shot. Anything yeah. else you have to say? No, I think it'd be great fine art, something. I agree, I agree. Community gives it 2.9 stars. Product shot. Is Body Armor the company that Monty shot for? Oh, I don't remember. I'm, I thought he shot for like Gatorade. No, no, he definitely did, but Body Armor, I believe, and you guys can check me on this, but we recently did a tutorial with Monty on the business of commercial photography, and he was specifically talking about this one photo shoot where he was shooting all these athletes but the company wasn't as big back then as they are now, and they didn't have money to oh. buy the logos from each of the sports teams. So he had to get custom-made sports team That's jerseys right. without right. the logos on them. So they paid the athlete, but not the yeah. NBA or whatever it was. So it was an interesting conundrum. All right, I'm ready when you are. I am too. Three, two, one. Two. We agree. Um, you know, I, I like the concept. I think we've, we've definitely seen photos like this. I think the lighting on the bottle is way too flat and yep. harsh and like direct light. Um, and it's kind of- It's flattening out all the colors. Exactly. It, and it, it also no feels dimension. a little overexposed or something yep. to me. And I think it's a little weird the way that they've cropped the top of this where you can see part of the splash above mm. the water, but not all the splashes above the water. And so to me, it just kind of feels like a, a great test but this does not feel like a professional product photographer to me. And yeah. that's why I give it two stars, which means it needs a little work before it hits your portfolio. I agree, I think to more. make it a three, I think the light, change the lighting and the, it just feels a little too crunchy. Too many, the blacks are too black and the whites are too, feel too blown out. But very nice job getting, getting the product on the pure white yeah. like this with the still blue water, you yeah. know, that, that's a, uh, yeah, um, I don't even know how you would do that. Maybe it's Photoshop. Maybe they just kind of, yeah. I'm not sure, but uh, interesting. Cool. Community gives it 2.4 stars. All right. Three, two, one. Two. Two stars. Um, this has a lot of potential to me. And I'm trying to figure out what what is making me feel like this is a little cheaper and grungier and amateur. But like, I feel like the the model looks decent, especially if this is a real maternity shoot and getting yeah. hired for this thing. You, you know, you're not using professional models. Um, but I think she looks pretty good. I think the pose is pretty decent. I love the concept and this thing right in the middle of the frame back there. I don't know if that's yeah. a lighthouse or I a post or whatever. And then the fact that they have the sun like directly behind that. I feel like there's a lot going on that I love. Yeah. But then all together, it's like the brown tonality of everything. It just feels grungy and kind of cheap to me. It feels a little dark for me. The ambient, um, I feel like, could be brought up uh, and still retain the beautiful color of the sunset. And I feel like the light itself on her is way too hard. Like, you can see that super sharp shadow under her chin, and I feel like if you could soften that out, maybe even bring it around or further. I don't know uh, exactly on the angle, but like, I feel like you could give her a much better look. Yeah, it's interesting. I, what, do you think, what do you think about the white balance on the, like obviously the white balance on her is perfect and she was scrubbed. Yeah. But the background? The background, like obviously we're getting really yellow tones on the, the water. And I would imagine maybe that's just naturally what the white balance will be if you have a 5,000 Kelvin light flashing at sunset. Yeah. But it, it, it feels brown instead of like clear, clean blue water. Um, I think it's just the time of night and the, and, the, and the sky, the color of the sky, the true color of the sky. Why I bring this up is, do you think this image could be enhanced if they had gelled the flash? Yes. And okay. then gone one way or the other like even more red with the white balance or much more blue with the white balance. Well, like you'd, you'd be killing I the sunset. I think it's more of an exposure. For me, it's more of an exposure problem than a, 
color problem, but hmm. that could augment it too. Community gives it right at two stars. What in the world? That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's interesting. Is there any way that this reflection is fake? I don't think so. Is there a way that we should be able to tell? Like, look at the... Like, is there some aspect of the bird that we can see in the reflection that we can't see from the angle that we're shooting at? Like the well, way... it should be slightly different. The that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Different. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so yeah, like the top of the head. You can see, like, there's just a little white, but more white. Okay. Okay. And like, yeah. Thanks so. for not cheating. <laughs> Um, yeah, ready. Three, two, one. I'm in between a two and a three. Here's the thing. This is a very interesting graphic shot. Yeah. I don't know what the hell's going on here, <laughs> but uh, you know, the bird's doing yoga. But when I think about professional animal photography, I just don't think this makes the cut. I don't think it makes the cut. And I'm, it's on the edge. And I'm noticing, you know, there's just lots of little specks and stuff in the water sure. that could have been yeah. cleaned up. Like, it just, it feels like a really high-end amateur photo to me, but it doesn't feel like you're going to be selling this stuff or you're going to be selling yourself yeah. by, by saying, look at what, look I, at what I, I can do. I have to agree with that. I think if you did clean up the water a little bit, some of those specks in the water, and maybe it, it feels a tidbit blue to me, um, I feel like a little bit warmer sunset, or maybe if this light had just gone down a little bit more, that I feel like that makes it a three and good enough for an animal an animal photographer's portfolio. Okay. Um, Community gives it th right at three stars. They agree with you and they hate me like always. <laughs> mm. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> I was thinking of going four. I was torn between a three and a four for this one. Now, when we compare this to the first shot, I and watch, I'll probably be wrong. I'll probably be wrong. But what I was going to say is, I, I feel like this is probably a unique shot. I feel like there weren't 27 photographers that Maybe. traveled across the world to get this one shot. I love the simplicity of this shot. It, it reminds me of so many different places. I mean, in a way, it kind of even reminds me of here in Charleston when I'm on the jet ski. There's not really houses like this out in the water, but there's little docks with yep. buildings and yeah. sheds and stuff out on the water. And the long exposure that smoothed out the, the water and the sky, I love it. And so that is why I like this photo a little better than the first one that was more over the top. It's funny, though, because it's almost the exact same compositional tonality yep. and <laughs> processing. It's got that kind of dark, crunchy, but yeah, it it's just a longer exposure. I'm, are you calling me a hypocrite? Is that what you're calling me right bit. now? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fair. No, no, no. I, I, I understand, though, that there's the diff this is like a more unique feel, definitely, than that landscape shot. I can't, I don't think I can give this, well, the, the reason I think it's more of a 3.5 than a 4 is just all this background stuff is distracting. When you really look at the image, if that was a lot cleaner and those boats and houses or whatever's back there, Maybe, maybe we're somehow cleaned out or just the rocks and forest on the like on the left. Yeah, but here okay, so most like I don't have a problem with Photoshop at all. Yeah. But I kind of come from a background of commercial photography. Like that was my dream was to always be a commercial photographer. So to me, it's not about photography as it is image making. Like just get yeah. the image. But when it comes to landscape and fine art and stuff, if it's all done in a computer then it's like, it kind of loses its value, especially yeah, to most people. Maybe. So, I see what you're saying. It, it could be a little cleaner if they just replicated what's on the left and then put it on the right and you know you get all those houses and boats out of there, but it feels a little bit more realistic to me. But then That's again, fair. maybe there's boats and docks on either side of this thing and he already photoshopped them all out. I mean, we to don't me, know. this is like meant to be a fine art piece. It's not architecture, it's not like, Right. You would use that for fine art. So in my mind, you would want the fine art aspect to just be as clean and beautiful and simple as possible. So. Yeah, but you yeah. Know, maybe, I, I, you want, maybe he wants point, to do it all on camera. I don't know. Community gives it 3.25. Good gosh. <laughs> 
All right, so J.P. Waldron, was he in the critique that we did? I think he was. I think he submitted a logo as part of the logo critique. Right, and I think, J.P., I may have told you that I did not like your previous logo. I believe this is a different logo. Yeah, it seems like he's... And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, and I don't really remember your last logo, but I definitely do not like this logo. I, uh... One, the color, the neon red, it's not really working for me, but the, the JP and the brackets, like, it's just the shape of the font and the brackets, and then you've added the, the drop shadow, and the drop shadow is actually further away from the item so that you can actually see a little bit of space, space between the drop shadow and the text, and I do not think that is a good decision for most logos. I don't think drop shadows in general are a good decision for logos, but sometimes you have to have them for watermarks so that the yeah. logos stand out. So, um, you know, if you're a professional photographer, I, I definitely recommend hiring a graphic designer. It's what I had to do. I went to school for graphic design and I am not even good enough to make my own logo. You still did, yeah. Yeah, so um, definitely keep that in mind. Yeah. All right, let's, let's rate the pick. I don't even know. I don't know how to rate this. Sports, surf, that genre. All right. Three, two, one. Three? You give it two? Uh, really? I was going to, yeah. Um, I could definitely be convinced for a three. It's definitely on the high end of a two. I just think just the lighting seems, maybe it's not really flat. It looked a little flat to me at first, but when I... I think it's his pants. Yeah. <laughs> They're reflecting light from every angle. Yeah. I, I could be convinced to go a little higher, for sure. So, I mean, obviously, Good this moment. is a, an incredible moment, right? Um, I think the lighting's good. It just... It starts coming down to details for me, and it's like, is there a story behind this? Is this some famous guy? Are these clothes the correct clothes for a <laughs> professional jet skier you know there, and, and it just all of these things together kind of make it feel like wow incredible snapshot but like are you is jp waldron traveling the world photographing the best uh jet skiers in the world from this photo and especially the logo I don't feel like that. I just kind of feel like you had the right lens, you're a good photographer, like you got the shot, but it's just not the most like incredible, yeah. unique I mean, shot in the an world. That's an amazing moment. And I think I do have to admit, I, I had logo bias. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So uh, yeah, if you've been thinking about getting rid of your logo, JP, now's the time. Community gives it 2.77 stars. Interesting. Mm, very interesting. You think those reflections are real? Mm, yeah. Some, I mean, it could be... Something's not right, because think about it. It's reflecting her arm, which is sharp, but then it's her arm is blurry in the picture. It's the same distance from the... No, because it would be the focal plane is in her glasses. No, I don't think that's the way... Yeah, that's it how it works. works. I don't think so. You can take a picture of someone looking in the mirror and the mirror is sharp and the foreground is blurry. What? Like, so, <laughs> wet, I do weddings yes. all the time. Yes. The bride's getting ready in the mirror. Yes. Bride's in the foreground, blurry, but her image in the mirror is completely sharp. Because it's the distance, it's the distance from the lens that's focusing, right? Like, but it's not, when you focus on somebody looking in the mirror, are you focusing on like from, from the lens to the mirror or is it the distance from the lens to the mirror back to the person? Yeah, I guess it would be that. So maybe, maybe this is a composite in that he did a double focus. Or, or he's just added some fake blur down at the bottom. Cause I mean, look, look at no, her, look at that her. That can't be fake blur. Like look at the focal fall off on her arm. That's natural. Hmm. I'm, I'm interested. <laughs> I'm interested All too. All right, let's rate it though. Uh, okay. Three, two, one. Three stars, we agree? Three stars. 
I, I mean, I, I think it's a pretty interesting photo. I don't, I don't feel like she's the most professional looking model. Um, and the reflection in the glasses, although it's very impressive that like there's that much detail, I mean, seeing fingers and the edge of a wet arm isn't the best reflection. Yeah, I think that's what bothers me. But it's certainly better than 99% of other glasses reflections I've seen in pictures. Yeah. So it's like, I don't really know how to rate that, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's a decent image. I'm slightly too bothered. Again, maybe it's just me today, but it feels a little cool. It feels too cool for, and maybe it's just kind of the brand and the vibe, but like, her the, skin I love the is background. red, though. Her skin is really red. But, like, the top of her hair and stuff is all, like, super blue. I think that's you just like the... That? I think, well, I think it's just the reflection, you know? If you sure, look at the I hair just, down it, by her shoulder, it's it doesn't, red. It's not a good complimentary blue and orange to hmm. me. All right. I don't know if I agree with that, but all right. That's fair. Community gives it 2.39 stars. They don't like it as much as we do. We're really nice guys. Hmm. I always am torn on... Underwater photography. Three, two, one. Three stars, we agree again. I mean, underwater photography is tough because to get a shot like this in the real world is so hard. I've been trying to do it for years. I feel like yes and no, but go ahead, finish your thought. But going to Atlanta Aquarium and shooting pictures like this all day is the easiest thing you could possibly do. Yeah. So, you know, I, I don't know what that means. I don't know if we should have to ask that question before we can critique the image that, you know, it shouldn't matter. I mean, I, I almost tend to, I, I think I would almost give this a 2.5, honestly. Um, I love, I think the, the reason it's a solid, fairly solid image is the general tonality, the fish is like in the midst of this really cool setting. It's a good composition, good uh, setting, but again. <laughs> it's we, too it's cool. Too blue. <laughs> it's too blue. It's Maybe there's the a problem with our uh, surface screen, book. Yeah. yeah. Now. I mean, do you see that? Though? I do see it. I'm wondering if there's a, a tent shift issue. I feel like the fish looks great. It has correct white balance. This other stuff that's going on, and it's so weird because I see magenta and green I think, in these little I bulbs. I think what must have happened is they used a flash and there's it's fall off of ambient color balance and then the flash Oh, is, that would, I mean, that would answer it. And, then, and if that's the case, would this point to this being a real photo yeah. taken in the ocean? Definitely. Okay, let us know, please, in the comments. And, and don't comment on the YouTube channel because it's hard to see that. Comment on F-Stoppers when we post this video um, because we'll actually get notifications and we'll be able to respond to you. Community gives it 3.14 stars, right around what we gave it. Now, was this taken in the ocean? Right, Should we discuss that aspect first? Of course this wasn't taken in the ocean. I think it might have been. Really? The only reason I think it might have been, like, look at the ground. Do you know how... That looks like, that looks like you, sand to me. Do you know how pissed I would be if I went to the North Pole and I got in the outfit and I went down in a submarine or in some full gear and I took a picture of a polar bear <laughs> and tried like, to attack me and then everybody who sees the photo is like, you took that at a zoo. I would be so mad. But this looks like a straight zoo picture. It it does look like a zoo picture, but I'm not sure it is. This, I definitely want to know. I'm going to rate this as though it was in the wild. <laughs> There's no I way. It might have been. There's no way. That would be so ridiculous. Uh, okay, maybe you're right. <laughs> no maybe you're right. All right. Three, two, one. Two stars. So even if this was in the wild, you well, give it three? I, I think I'd change my mind. Like, look at the, it's like... A weird slopey. That looks like a pool edge. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Community gives this one 3.25 3. Okay. stars. Everyone else thought it was in the wild. I mean, you know, it's cool that it's polar bear and everything, but I just don't feel like the lighting on the polar bear is that good. Yeah. And then the fact that this was probably taken with a billion people on their cell phone. You yeah. know, they were probably throwing down treats and it's diving down and picking them up and stuff. So it's like, eh, it's not that exciting. Ooh. 
Should have saved this one for the next critique, the automotive. I can always repeat. <laughs> three, two, one. I'm in between a three and a four on this one. I gave it four, you gave it three. Um, I mean, this is beautiful. I feel like the car, and is this like a Land Cruiser, Toyota Land Cruiser? Yeah. I feel like, you know, it's an older car, so just it doesn't feel as high end as if this was like the 2019 Toyota Land Cruiser. It just kind of feels like a photographer went out there, this is the car they were in anyway, and then they, you know, they were shooting the reflections and stars and they were like, "Hey, let's get a shot at the car." So that's not a problem, but it just doesn't feel quite as high end to me because the car's older. Yeah. I'm trying to decide, oh, like, I don't quite get the vibe that this is meant to be like a beautiful landscape shot or a beautiful automotive shot. It's like somewhere in the between, it's like this photographer was out on the salt flats and had this incredible shot and decided to get a reflection and his car was a perfect subject. But like, the car's a little too far away to like accentuate the car and it's just a pretty scene to me. It's not like a stellar overall uh, concept to me. I like that the car is so small because I've seen so many pictures of the cars big in the frame. It's like, this is a unique image to me for that reason. Yeah. And that's probably why I lean towards a four, but I understand what you're saying. Community gives it 3.47. So this was close to being the highest rated image. Yeah. Ooh. That's interesting. Do you have any idea where that is? No idea. That is weird. You think that's that's all natural? Yeah. Hmm. That happened. I mean, you've seen that. You were at the. This is the same as the pancake rocks in New Zealand. Same formations. I don't know. It's those. Quite like that, but all right. <sighs> Three, two, one. Two stars. We agree. Incredible location. It just kind of feels like. Uh, I put my. You know. Put the drone, the drone up, up and then like point it yeah, down. Yeah, you know, it's like the lighting's not that interesting and a little blue. <laughs> it's just <laughs> white balance is so blue. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I like it okay. It just doesn't really feel like a. Professional. I feel like this could be such a cool image mm -hmm. potentially. Like mm -hmm. I really love the perspective warp that the Mavics like. It seems like it's going into a canyon of this stuff. Mm -hmm. If it was at a cool time of night with awesome light, if it was maybe a longer exposure to get a little more blur in the water, like it's this. hard to do with the drone. This could be awesome though. Community gives it 2.95 stars. All right, next up. Ooh. <laughs> Three, two, one, two stars. Uh, it's out of focus. I think like that's the biggest thing. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, I think I think um, when you're shooting rings, you're so close to them because they're so small that the depth of field is just insane. Like this photo could have been taken at like f forty five, and it could still be this shallow of a depth of field because it's filling the entire frame. Yeah. I think that you should back up. Oh, and the other the other thing that you'll notice. I've shot a lot of rings as a wedding photographer. Uh, when you take a good macro shot of a wedding ring, you see every imperfection yeah. in that diamond, and diamonds look horrible up close. Uh, this one, it's kind of hard to see the imperfections because it's, 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 it's like not really in focus, but um, all this being said, I think it's usually better to back up a little bit and, uh, you know, let let the let the ring be able to be seen in full, get a little bit more depth of field, and then you know what else is going on here with the water and the blue and everything. I know you love blue. I think <laughs> it's I think there's a lot of potential, but this image as it is yeah. is not I don't working. mind this blue because oh, okay. the ring <laughs> itself seems properly uh, to have a proper white balance. But all right, community gives it 1.7 stars. All right, next shot. Congratulations, this is the random winner. You also will be getting an email or message on F-Stoppers from David and uh, you can pick out any tutorial you want at fstoppers.com slash store. 
Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Three stars. I think this looks decent. I mean, I was thinking about a, a three or four on this one. I feel like the the model is a decent model. Yeah. I feel like her facial expression is a little dead. And then, like, I don't know if extra teeth whitening has been done or whatever, but it seems like shadows may have been removed that kind of make her teeth. It seems very processed. Like, look at how crunchy everything looks, too. I feel like her skin in general, like... None of that's bothering me as much, but, like, look at the really edge sharp. of her lips to teeth. It's like it's like the teeth have been cut out of another image and paste, pasted there mm. by a serial killer. You know how they do <laughs> that? And they cut out stuff from magazines and... Anyway, um, I feel like it's a good shot, though. Yeah, it's on. All right. Simple. The community gives it 2.67 stars. We were even nicer. Mm. Mm. Man. This is tough for me. Ready? Three, two, one. We're going nice. I'm going three as well. Um, I love this concept and pose. Yep and all the activity. I feel like, A, it's clear that he's at like a community pool to me because it's like there's guys with flippers, there's like people doing all these different strokes at different points and like it, there's not, if you could have a more systematic uh, set of models on the top of the water and light him better, like I don't, that, that the, Overall tonality and like light coming onto him is like, I think just a little off to where this could be a four, yeah, five even, if Ye you could get it just just right. Yes, um, I I agree. I feel like the white balance on him, you know, I understand you're under the water and everything, but it you know it's a little grungy greenish blue yeah. and you know that's just what you deal with unless you have strobes but then strobing that deep down there without having the strobes in the picture like yeah adds tough. a lot of difficulty the other thing is it doesn't feel quite centered yeah. and he feels like he's leaning to the right a little bit and like his hands on his hips feel a little lazy i don't know it feels like maybe he could put them up a little higher or yeah. something but um i feel like this is a great i love the concept, concept. yeah yeah i would just like to see it finessed a little bit more but uh I think I still gave it three stars, yeah. right? So, cool. Community gives it two point six five. Like it as much. Well. Are we really already done? Let me just. All right, are you ready? Three, two, mm, one. I'm gonna go a little nice. Whoa. So I feel like the only. I I agree. It's probably less than a three, but I figured you rated a two. I think this is close to the three in that I could see water parks or something using something close to this as maybe it's not quite there. It's just too, the, the subjects no, are too I, hidden, but I love the light. I yes, love the moment. It's yes. a beautiful lifestyle I like agree. moment. I agree. So, Here's the thing. You got to have people in there. They got to have like their hands up or something. Cause yeah. we're like, instead of having above the boat, in this frame, we have these weird metal things on the bottom of the yeah, frame. That's, that's, true, that's, that's striking true. the shot. Like the whole composition's wrong. It needs to be pushed up a little bit. Lighting's right on the money. But you need to have people in there and you need to say, all right, when you come down, hands up, you lean to the right, you lean to the left. Yeah. And then boom, all of a sudden you're exactly right. I mean, that would be the shot that Universal uses on their website. Yeah, on the billboard, on the... Yeah, but as this stands right now, it feels like a good snapshot, and if that's your kid in the front, like, cool shot, you know, that'll be a great memory, but not a professional yeah. shot. Uh, right at two stars. Ooh. Mm. What do you think this is? Is it snow? I think it's a river delta. Or like sand, ocean. Or like zoomed in on somebody's frozen windshield or something. Definitely sort of, definitely water made. Ready? Three, two, one. I was in between a three, three and, a and a four. four. Yeah. Maybe I, I should have gone four. I mean, this is really pretty if, if you know. This hangs on a wall. Easily. Yeah, I would hang this on a wall and I would hang the picture of the little house on the dock on a wall out of everything that we've seen. Um, 
So I, I, I like it a lot. I'm not sure what else we can really say about it, but oh, it's, it's just nice. Beautiful, interesting lines and good abstract concept. Community gives it 2.8. Yeesh. Harsh. I think I'm ready. Three, two, one. One star. This is definitely a snapshot. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a snapshot. I mean, the, the, our, our definition of a snapshot, and, and keep in mind that professional images can be snapshots in the sense of like, they just picked up, it could be a cell phone picture, but you, it, you captured, like yep. the last shot for instance, that could be a snapshot out of a plane window or something on a cell phone. We don't know. That actually happened before recently where oh, really? we saw this shot uh, from above of like a canyon and both, I think it was Patrick, or maybe it was Mike, we were blown away by the shot. And some guy was like, oh yeah, I took it on my Delta flight. We were just, you know, and he just <laughs> took it out of a plane. So like, it was still a snapshot. But our definition of a snapshot is like, anyone in that situation with any camera would have taken that shot. Like there's no difference, there's nothing, there's nothing exceptional about yep. it that would make us uh, really impressed. The community gives us 1.33 stars. It's interesting. Mm. I think I'm ready. Three, two, one. The only reason I gave this a two is I like the concepts a lot. I just don't know what this is used for. I mean, that's that's hard to use that as a critique though because there could be unlimited uses for this. You know, it, it could I be. Maybe, yeah. I mean, imagine imagine uh, some sort of video game or. I, I think like it's fantasy. Like when I when I look at it sideways like vertically, which I think it's meant to be uh, looked at that way. It does look kind of like a portal, some sort of like, I don't know, warp gate <laughs> mm -hmm. or something. So like, cool concept for sure. I think it's a three and the community agrees with me at 3.1 stars. There you go. All right, I'm torn. I'm gonna... Three, two, one. I'm, I love this. Okay. I, I like the... Here's the thing with this, and I could, I mean, I might give this five stars if I could see it in print form. It feels to me, though, like the top half is underexposed, doesn't it? Like, it's black. And, I, I mean, we have this screen all the way turned up, and I cannot see a lot of detail I mean, in that. Would you say the ocean's underexposed? No. I can see detail in the just ocean. I think it's the... It's black lava. It's like pure black rock. And it looks like there's clouds and smoke that it's like blocking some of the light. And too. to get a correct exposure on glowing lava, you're gonna have to underexpose the rocks. I just wonder if there's any way to pull a little detail back See, in the raw. I don't think I would like it if there was a lot of detail. I'm not saying rocks. a lot. I'm not saying a lot. But like, would you say there's a lot of detail in the ocean? I would just say enough to be just able to. Hint. Like if I were to crop in and just show like the lot, like is that a correctly exposed image? You'd be like, no, that just looks like a little dark, maybe bits okay, of yeah. yellow with black. But when you see the whole scene, it's such an interesting, you know, split image here. Yeah. I just want to see a little bit more detail, but I love it. I love the concept. That's my only critique. Yeah, very cool. All right. Cool moment. Community gives this one 3.3 stars, so right in between us. And that wraps up this critique. Once again, guys, if you would like to be a part of the next critique, we're doing automotive photography, all of your best riding lawnmower footage will be accepted. <laughs> and uh, if you'd like to check out the tutorials that you can win, have, head over to fstoppers.com slash store. I know that we just released our new intro to videography tutorial that we've been working on a long time. So if you've been thinking about jumping into video, check that out. We'll see you next time.